Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of the Classroom Series, a series where I teach you everything you need to know about sewing. Since this is a sample, I'm going to be using a square that is six by six. We first have to create a plain stitch and seam with this six inch square. Now creating a seam is simply how we sew all pieces of fabric together. We're going to take two pieces of fabric and sew them together. So we're going to take this six inch square and we're gonna cut it in half down the middle. Now that we have two pieces of fabric, we are going to place them on top of each other, right sides together, and pin our layers together. Now, since these pieces are solid colors, there's not really a right or a wrong side. If you are using a print fabric, you are going to want to pay attention to the right side of the fabric. The right side of the fabric is going to be on the inside so that it is right sides touching or print to print. We're going to lay our fabric on top of itself Put two pins to hold our layers together and then we are going to go sew a plain seam. Now a plain seam is just a straight stitch, stitched on your normal stitch width and length and typically sewn on a 5 8 inch seam allowance. Now depending on what pattern you are using and what the directions say, the seam allowance might be different. But standard seam allowance is going to be 5 8 since we are wanting to sew on a regular straight stitch, we are going to make sure that our sewing machine stitch function is going to be on the straight stitch. The numbers on your sewing machine might be different, but for my sewing machine, a straight centered stitch is going to be zero, zero. On my display screen, I see that it is on a zero, zero, which is my straight stitch. And my stitch length and width are already preset by my sewing machine, so I'm not going to mess with them. For sewing our plain seam, we are going to want to pay attention to the lines that are etched on our needle plate, which is right underneath our presser foot. You're going to notice that there are different measurements. We are specifically going to pay attention to the 5 8 inch seam allowance line when we are sewing a plain stitch. Remember that a plain stitch or seam is simply any stitch that we use to attach two pieces of fabric together. In order to apply seam finishes, we first have to have a seam attaching two pieces of fabric together. And that's what you see here. <laughs> And that gives us our plain seam. This is your typical seam that you're going to be using for any sewing project. Now we're going to take it to our iron and we are going to press our seam open. After you have sewn your plain seam, you are going to want to press that seam open. After your seam is pressed open, you can move on with your project or apply any variety of seam finishes you would like. And those are the basics of how you create a plain seam for any sewing project. And now you're ready to get sewing! Thank you for watching this video in the Classroom Series. If you want to learn more about the basics of sewing, check out the rest of the videos in the Classroom Series on my channel. Happy sewing! See you in the next video.